Hi guys, I am going to be doing a video that I had promised to do such a long time ago and it was the eye makeup that I wore in my MAC collection video which was super super long ago um, but I'm glad that it was requested because it was such an easy look to do and I'm going to just point out the eyeshadow okay, so I, I used use brulee, rice paper, pink freeze, wedge, and carbon for the eyeshadows and I also use my Max Reflex Pearl, which I love using it because I can't, I don't have an occasion to really wear it, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it from my camera, but it is there, but I only put a little, little bit because this is supposed to be a wearable look. I didn't want to overload it with um, glitter, but I hope you guys enjoy um, this tutorial and I did have to use other other products um, than MAC because certain products I don't have like mascara and eyeliner, which I hope to get one day, but I don't have it I don't have it with me as of right now. So please stay tuned if you want to see how I did this, did this look. <laughs> Could get that okay, out. so the first thing we're gonna do is apply Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then we're going to apply a paint pot, and this is in soft ochre okay now I'm going to take pink freeze and rice paper and mix the two colors together and put that on my eye and then I'm going to take wedge and put that on my crease. And then I am going to be taking brulee and putting that as my brow bone color. And then I'm going to take carbon and put that on the outer corner. And next we are going to apply a black eyeliner to the top waterline. And then I am going to line my eye with Milani Liquify Eyeliner, Infinite Liquify Eyeliner. And before that completely dries, I am going to be taking carbon again and applying that over the Infinite Eyeliner. Okay, so now that the eyeliner dried, I am going to curl my lashes and apply mascara on the top lash first. Before I apply mascara to the bottom lashes, what I want to do first is on my lash line, I'm going to add some of that pink freeze and rice paper over here, and then the rest I am going to apply the carbon. Okay, and then we are going to, on the waterline, I am going to actually use a nude eye pencil. And now we will apply the mascara. Okay, next I am going to apply glitter, and I'm using Max Reflex Pearl, and this one is from the MAC Wonder Woman collection. And I'm just going to apply a little bit right here.
Alright, so this is the finished look, but before I give you a closer view, I wanted to mention a couple of things. The first is the lipstick that I'm wearing. It is actually a new product from L'Oreal. It's called The Bomb. And this color is in Caramel Comfort, and it is my favorite lip product right now. And then for my cheeks, I used an old product that I had that I had stashed away in a box of makeup that I don't touch anymore and it is a elf tickle pink which I'm sure which I'm sure some of you might be surprised that I don't use this because it is pretty popular blush but for me I think I thought it was way too powdery and the color payoff wasn't I don't know I just did not like it too much so um, I just put it away but what I decided to do was use a cream blush as a base and then apply the tickle pink on top of it and it made the color so much more brighter and vibrant and I also do the cream blush thing first um, it's what I've been doing for a while now just so that my blush will last a lot longer and it has so I do that even with uh, blushes that I really like but in this case it really did help the tickle pink um, be more brighter and pigmented and so this is a great cream blush this is NYX natural and it goes with any blush that you have and I'll definitely be using tickle pink a lot more but let me get closer now So I hope you guys enjoyed this look really easy to do and you can use similar colors if you don't have MAC so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!